open up our bottle and then we'll just pour it right into here. Wow, you can see it. It's like raining down each side of the glass. That's neat. And it'll hold a whole 750 milliliter bottle. All right, so today's YouTube video is a little different than most stuff we do here. And as you know, most of my products are either smart home products or something uh, related to the home. Since we moved to this house, we've had a lot of uh, companies reaching out with more home-based products, which is what I have today. Special thanks to this company who sent me their wine decanter. They make decanters for wine. Now, it's not really like a liquor decanter where you kind of just buy it and put the liquor in there and it's, you know, holds liquor until you want it. This one seems to have some extra little features, but they literally call it a wine decanter. So special thanks to this company for sending this my way. We're of course gonna get on the overhead rig, unbox this and see exactly what it is. And then we'll try to fully explain to you exactly how it works because I've gotta, I've gotta learn it myself. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's check out this wine decanter. So this is our wine breather, Kareth, Kareth, not certain if I'm saying that right, Alliance of Art and Technology. So again, special thanks to this company for sending this to me. Just made in China on the bottom, company logo on the top with wine decanter. And there's a little photo of what it looks like pouring some wine. Wine breather, interesting. And so this kind of gives you a little bit of information. So the outer spout, exit for pouring into the glass. Okay, that's that's number one. Number two is the inner spout, entrance for pouring wine into decanter. Red wine flow into form inner spout, then come out from inner spout. Okay, so you pour your wine into number two and it comes out of the smaller hole. Got it. Bidirectional filtering does something fancy and there's a silicone ring to connect the decanter lid to the decanter body. Waterfall bell, there's, the wine will be poured into a beautiful arc evenly in 12 strands. Enjoy the amazing decanting process. Accelerate the speed of oxidation, release the aroma of wine, and then soften the bitterness. Let's, let's open this thing up. I am a little intrigued because I've never seen something like this. All right, cool, like the, okay. okay. That's it for that. Whoa. <laughs> and well, I guess that's, uh, yeah, that, that's it for the box. So this is, uh, this is it. And you can see there, up in there kind of maybe, hold on. So you can kind of see each one of those lines that it's talking about. And so we pour the wine in here. And then when we pour the wine out of this container, it'll come out of this outside rim. Now I think there's a whole process to this, as in, and it is, it is glass. A uh, very nice little design though, and comfortable to hold. Like that'd be very easy to pour. Let's get some wine. So I guess I'll run to the store. And then uh, we'll actually try this thing out and see exactly how a wine decanter works. Guess I uh, didn't charge last night. Yep, no, 42%. It starts at 60 normally. That's what I leave it on when I'm not traveling. But, oh well, let's go to Walmart. Good old Wally world. Interesting. All right, wine, wine, wine. All right, let's, uh, let's see. Moscato should do it. Now let's go check out. All right. This is what Miami's missing. This Dr. Pepper machine has every type of Dr. Pepper. <sighs> Only slept about four hours last night, but uh, you know, had to get up and work. So wine and bread that I need is in hand. Back to the house and let's try out this wine decanter. All right, so we got our wine and we have our wine decanter. Now, technically, this is best with red wine, but my wife doesn't care for red wine. You can use any wine with it, uh, just, you know, a wine like this, like a Moscato, you can apparently stir it and get the same effect, but with red wine, you would need this. So, the only thing I could think to show you is the top coming off, which that just literally pulls off. So you're able to just kind of turn it and it kind of just comes right out. 
So this is the waterfall bottleneck design. So you pour your wine in this spot and it waterfalls through all of this little fancy stuff here. And then when you pour it out of this, it'll come around the outside container. The cool part is normally this process takes like 30 minutes to an hour, but uh, with this specific decanter, you can do the whole process in three to five minutes. And it actually says not to take longer than three to five minutes. So now we'll throw our top back on, open up our bottle, and then we'll just pour it right into here. Wow, you can see it. It's like raining down each side of the glass. That's neat. And it'll hold a whole 750 milliliter bottle. But yeah, you can see the little lines as they're coming down. So this is a 750 milliliter bottle. Should hold the whole thing. All right, so now uh, we will wait three to five minutes. So uh, it's 7.36, uh, I guess about 7.40 p.m. We'll, uh, we'll give it a go. He's a crazy puppy. And in case you're wondering, we really like wine. This is a wine dog bottle holder. Save water, drink wine. When wine goes in, wisdom comes out. And we even have a wine cellar key. We haven't found the cellar, but we got the key. Now it is 741, so it's officially been five minutes. You wanna try it? Yeah. And now we'll take our decanter and we should just be able to pour right into the glass. And you can see it comes out the bottom there. Go ahead and have you a swig, my queen. Cheers. That goes down so smooth. I don't know if it's related. I really want to try that now. Okay, okay. Cause she has like this is this is probably her favorite pink Moscato. You know, we're not expensive people. So it went down easier though. I don't know if it's because. Like you know what it's supposed to do and it's in your head. Maybe. <laughs> it left little lines from how it came off of the waterfall. It's so pretty. I have to say, in terms of like sitting on your counter and looking nice, the design of this, which maybe it has to be designed this way, but just looks really nice. So I think that will do it for this wine decanter. Now, I, of course, made this video because, well, I've never heard of a wine decanter. I didn't really know they existed, but it does seem, at least from what I read online afterwards, that it works best with the red wine. Now, of course, we tried it with like the pink Moscato. Didn't have the little bit of burn that alcohol normally has. So, of course, if you're buying one of these, you'll probably know what it's more for, or you may actually like red wine, which my wife does not. So I'll, of course, have this exact model linked down below in the description if you'd like to grab one of these wine decanters for your household. And that should do it for today's video. Click that like button for me. Click subscribe. Indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next video. Deuces.